guys, guess what I just got this week? You guys can hear her? Say hi, Callie. Say hi, Callie. Hi. Hi. She wants to um come out of uh, the playpen I just got for her because I'm trying to work on keeping her in the pen. This is my baby, Callie. She's a Kavapoo and she is only 10 weeks old. I just got her two days ago, so this is my second day, full day. So this is, yeah, this is my, I got her Sunday, so I got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so I've had her for three days now. And she's a Cavalier, mixed with a Poodle, and her color is apricot. Like a ginger color. You see her, guys. Yeah, she's so cute, guys. I got her from this store in Brooklyn called the Puppy Boutique. And I didn't even know I was gonna go home with a dog. I just, I've been thinking about getting a dog for so long. And every time I did, every time I did go to the dog store, I just kept like punking out. Like when I would, um, when I would go see dogs, like I would just get scared and think that I'm not ready yet. And then I would be on Instagram all day long, literally looking for dogs. I don't know why, but I'm so happy I finally like went and went through with it. So far, um, it hasn't been um, difficult as I thought these past two days. I've been training her to use the potty on her own. So far, she's done it. Um, she's done it about four times so far, but she hasn't been able to like do number two on it so far. I've just been trying to keep her world small. Like that was one of the things that I seen online to keep your dog space as small as you can. So you don't want them to be roaming around the whole place. Since she's still young, I haven't been able to take her outside yet. I, we actually did our first visit to the vet today. So far, all of her vaccines are already done. I just need to get her rabies shot in six weeks, about six weeks. So, all of her vaccinations are done and then in another six weeks she's gonna get her rabies vaccination and then she'll be good to go she'll be able to get grooming i've been on youtube trying to figure out like things that i could like find that you know are useful to teach her as far as dog food like i went to my vet today and i have to buy a completely new she's just rolling around she's gonna try to use it She's using the bathroom on her own. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good girl, Callie. But yeah. Um, I'm pretty impressed on how she's been using the bathroom on her own. Like this is my first pet and it's actually very um I didn't think that she would get it this fast, but she's actually very smart and she's made a couple of accidents here and there, but like She's very young, she's still a puppy, so I expect that from her. But so far with the potty trainees, the bathroom, she's been doing such a great job, I'm so proud. Um, I've been like trying to figure out dog treats and dog food, so I'm gonna do a haul for you guys to show you the things that I did get for her. And um, as far as food, treats, I think she wants to go back in her dog pen. You wanna go back inside? Come. As far as dog treats and what else like toys for her and like the necessities I'm gonna do definitely do a haul from all the things I got from Amazon everything will be listed in my Amazon storefront and I'm gonna have a separate category for my dog now because you know I'm officially a dog mom I really didn't think that I was gonna get a puppy, but I don't know, certain things just change as you get older. Once you start to live alone, like you just feel like you need a companion, and that was my main reason of wanting a puppy. Like, I just felt so like lonely, and when I would come home from work, or when I would go out with my friends and come home, I just felt like I had no one there, so getting a puppy was like, you know, um, more so like I just wanted a companion. Um, I just got this bag from Amazon. This is what comes with it. Is I'm not a toy, please take care of me. So this is like a um, just a pamphlet of everything to do, all the information of the puppy, and 
it, it tells us when to feed her, what time, the portions, what foods, um, check of cell. This shows all the vaccines she has. So she used the color apricot and she got all her vaccinations around these dates. And my next vaccination will be in, will be in when? In December. So yeah. Well, my puppy, she also came, Michael tripped already and they registered me in the system. So like, God forbid she does get lost. Once they take her to a vet or a shelter, they're gonna see that she's micro-tripped and they're gonna be able to locate me and track me and like, let me know that they found my dog. Hypothetically speaking, like just in case something happens. And this pamphlet is just like, what to feed them, what not to feed them, what to do if they start, you know, having certain symptoms of abnormal, abnormal symptoms. Um, so far, so I'm gonna like just, just give you guys the basic rundown of what I've been taught. So this is her little playpen. I got this bed from Target, but this these are all temporary things. I don't know if this is gonna be like her designated like spot or even pillow, but like so far she loves everything she got. This toy, I got it from Target. Let me show you the toy. Got this little toy from Target, she likes it. I got this bone because she's starting to tea, and that's her Starbucks cup. Let me show you. So, she loves this cup. Um, this is her water container. So this is where she's gonna drink her water from. That's her water. I had put a, pee, a wee wee pad in here. So when I leave, um, she's not roaming around trying to pee. Like she just has her spot right here. Remind you guys, I am new at this. So don't, don't, you know, go crazy on me about anything. If I'm doing it wrong, just, Educate me in the comments because this is my first time having a dog. Bro, this is really my first time having a pet. But yeah, these are the things. So that's from Target, Target, Target. These are all from Target. The vet did tell me to definitely give her some time by herself for a couple of hours a day and also bond with her for the rest of the hours just so she knows how to be able to like live without me, let's say. like she Just so she doesn't get too attached because obviously like I have a life and I have to go to work, I have to go out sometimes, and I don't want her to get too attached because I may not be able to be around her 24 seven, so she needs to be in that pen by herself for a little while. And I haven't really left her by herself yet. I have like, actually I have, for like two hours. Not a long time, um, so it's pretty good. But yeah, like she's doing pretty well. And she's still young, so I definitely want her to just be getting to like the group of things pretty early. I'm gonna definitely give you guys a haul on the rest of the things that I do get. The food that the puppy boutique did give me to go home with, when I went to the vet today, they told me that that, that selection is actually bad. Like it's like a Burger King, like it's not good for her. It's too much sodium. So I have to go to the pet store today and get some real food for her. They recommended me a couple of brands to get and I cannot give her a bath yet. I have to wait a couple of weeks until she gets um, a little older cause she might get sick if I bathe her right now. So I'm gonna get some dry shampoo so she can smell a little bit better. Um, besides that, like I, she's just a puppy. So she's just, she's just a puppy. She's just a girl. And yes, she is a girl. Her name is Callie. She's only four pounds. Um, she's supposed to get to at least 15 pounds maximum they say. She's supposed to get to, uh, she's supposed to grow, grow up to 15 pounds. So eventually she's going to be three times this size. And I'm not looking forward to it because I actually really want her to stay this size forever. But that's my baby, y'all. And I don't know. Um, I've been, the way, the, the way I got her name, I was thinking about the name Callie for some reason. Like it just came to me like, and this was before I even got her. Like I wasn't anticipating on getting a dog next month, but I just didn't know the exact day and when it would just happen. Like I just wanted to be something naturally genuine like that would just happen. And so I just think about the name Callie. And when I got her, I'm like, you know, she doesn't really look like a Callie. So I started thinking like second guessing, maybe I should just give her another name. And I was actually at Target getting some things for her and she was with me and everybody just kept stopping like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. And this one lady stopped me and she was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. My daughter would like go crazy if she got this dog right now. 
And then she calls her daughter on the phone and her daughter's name is Callie. So then I was like, oh yeah, that's a sign. Like, I'm gonna name her, her Callie. And it's just such a cute, easy name. Like, I just wanted something simple. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Give me some, give me some advice because I'm a new dog owner and I'm sure anybody watching this video is probably interested in getting a dog or just got their dog and they don't know what to do. So if you guys could just drop some gems in the comment section below for us new dog owners or new pet owners in general. Some advice so we can, you know, as a community come together because it takes a village to raise a baby. And she's a puppy, so it takes a village, y'all. So we all gotta help each other and educate each other on these puppies. So thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. Mwah, bye. Look at Callie. Callie, Callie, come. Callie, Callie. Callie. Look at her. She knows her name already. Callie. Callie.